Welcome to the connection testing video on Wojong Market Channel. In this connection testing video, we use the 3MK15 remote controller. Chinowing V31 telemetry set and the X7 Plus fly controller. Five cables were used: S Boss cable, Telemo One cable, Telemo Two cable, TTL to USB cable. In the car module, the Telema 2 cable was self-made. First, we have the S-Bus cable, which connects the S-Bus ports of MK15 receiver and connects to the RC ports of flight controller. the Telemo 1 cable. Which connects to the LIM port of the MK15 receiver. And the other end connects to the Telemo 1 port of flight controller. Following that is the self-made Telemo 2 cable. Please refer to the diagram. When making the cable and ensure the wiring sequence is correct. The 4 pin interface connects to the TTL or IS232 ports of the V31 Sky Terminal. The 6 pin interface connects to the Telemo 2 ports of the flight controller. This is the TTL to USB cable. One end connects to the TTL port of the V31 ground terminal. And the other end connects to the computer. It is used for data transmission on the computer. Lastly, we have the power module, which connects to the flight controller to supply power. The remaining two power cables connect to the two V31 telemetry modules. The MK15 receiver also needs to be connected to the power supply. Now, let's open the mission planer. And connect with a baud rate of 115,200. Rotate the flight controller to check if the connection is successful. Open the ground station settings.
and perform remote control calibration to check if the s bar signal can control normally. We will set the parameters according to the data provided in this image. The default board rate for V31 is 115,200. Since the V31 sky terminal is connected to the terminal 2 port of flight controller, we need to change the corresponding parameter board rate to 115,200 in the ground station. The connection testing is complete after the settings are finished. Thanks for watching. Please follow us to watch more about the testing videos.